We are here with hot developments of today. Russian ammunition depot was destroyed by Ukrainian forces. Don't forget to like the video before moving on to details. Russian soldiers set up concrete barriers and dug trenches around Melitopol. Head of Zaporozhye Regional Military Administration Alexander Staruk informed about the strengthening of Russian troops in the direction of Zaporozhye. It will not be easy to break through the trenches and concrete barrier, Alexander Staruk, head of the Zaporozhye Regional Military Administration, informed this on the air of the VR Ukraine platform. He noted that Russian shelling continues and the Russian forces are 50 kilometers from regional center. Russian forces are 50 kilometers from Zaporozhye, 10 kilometers from Orikhi, and 5 kilometers from Heliopoli. 62 attacks over the previous day. Yesterday they shelled Orikhiv, two people were injured, houses were damaged but we will restore the houses, said Alexander Staruk. The head of the Ukrainian Joint Staff also stressed that Russian forces are reinforcing their positions in Zaporozhye sector. It will not be easy to break the defensive line, they have dug trenches and put concrete barriers around Melitopo, added Alexander Staruk. Military expert Alexander Kovalenko believes that the operation to retake the Luhansk region may unfold similarly to the Ukrainian armed forces operations during the Kharkiv region to recapture. Experts believe that in case of a success near Kremlina, the armed forces of Ukraine can open the way to Luhansk. Another news has been received today. According to breaking news, Russian ammunition depot was destroyed by Ukrainian forces. Ukrainian forces hit and destroyed a Russian ammunition depot on the eastern outskirts of Soledar. K2 Scots, an accurate artillery of the 54th Brigade of the Armed Forces, skillfully destroyed the Russian soldiers. What is your opinion on this matter? You can express your thoughts about this topic in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more breaking news. We will be back with new developments.